guys, how's it going? It's Dyslexia, and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to achieve this super rad effect. So, we're going to be doing a sketch tutorial. Uh, like, basically, we're going to be taking an image, making it look like it's been sketched on pencil, or on paper with pencil, or close enough. So, there's three things you're going to need. You're going to need the program GIMP, if you don't already have it. You're going to need a plugin for that program GIMP, if you don't already have it, <laughs> and you're going to need some brushes for GIMP if you don't already have them. So, a link for all three of these will be in the description. Go to the GIMP website, the first link in the description, download and install GIMP, easy peasy. Go to the second website, just download the installer, double click, run it, it's going to take like 10 seconds. The third link in the description is going to send you to a zip file where I will give you the brush that you need to achieve this effect. Uh, well, not need, but I mean, it's going to help a lot. Um, so it's going to help you out with this effect, and then also it's going to leave a paper uh, image in there, uh, an image of paper. So if you're doing this on like a render, if you're doing the sketch effect on a render, then um, the effect... Uh, or then you can put that render, that sketch render, on top of that paper image for a background or whatever. So uh, that's going to help you out, and it's going to be all rad pit and stuff. So once you get all that done, go ahead and come back here, and we should be ready to roll. Actually, I forgot to mention, if you don't know how to install the brushes, you can follow this right here. Pretty obvious... Um, on getting to the program files GIMP2, that should be obvious, you should know how to do this. Um, program files, go to GIMP2, go to the share folder, go to GIMP 2.0, and drag the brush file to the brushes folder. And save the, pa uh, the paper image uh, somewhere that you can find it easily, like your desktop. So, that's how to install the brush, everything else is a... Uh, automatic install, you just run the installer and it installs it where it needs to be, so that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, now we can go ahead and jump into GIMP. So I've preloaded the paper image uh, in here, and now all I've got to do is I've got to open my uh, soldier, which is in the renders here, and US support, there we go, and now I've got this soldier loaded up here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer, auto crop layer, so it is the, is at the exact borders of the image, uh, as tight as it can be. This only works with rendered images with no backgrounds. Uh, basically, it just crops the image to as small as it can be. Um, we're going to use the Align tool to uh, align the image in the middle, and then we're going to scale the image up. Uh, since the maximum size of the image, I'm using 853 by 480 here, because it's it is 16 by 9 and it's uh, 480p, basically. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this scale one here, and the max size of the image for the height is 480. We're going to make the height of the soldier 450. Okay, and then all we need to do is move it down so his legs aren't cut off in the middle of nowhere. And that's perfect. So, uh, for everything else now, we're going to go ahead and go to layer. We're going to layer to image size so that we don't uh, cut off any of our effects. And then we're going to duplicate the image and get started with the process. So on the top layer, the image that you duplicated, you're going to go to Filters, go to the Gimmick filter that you installed um, from the description. You're going to go to Pencil, and then you're going to mess around with the size amplitude, whatever you got there. And then you're going to click OK. And once this thing is all done, this green bar will stop loading, and then you'll obviously see the effect. There you go. Uh, go ahead and set the image to about 50 opacity, or whatever you think is uh, good, to where some of the color will show through the black and white, um, but you'll still have the desired effect there. And then just go ahead and merge it down. Duplicate it a second time, and go to Filters, and re-show the Gimmick Filter pool here. And then, rather than pencil, you're going to now click hard sketch and make sure it's on black and white. You should start there, um, but that's good. And then, uh, I believe yours is going to start at 300 amplitude, so 
So if you want to do 300, go ahead or mess with it however you feel um, necessary. That's what 300 is going to look like. <laughs> um, and don't fret because we, we need all this white background and stuff here. So the next thing you're going to do is select the eraser and select the brush that you downloaded here. Uh, I know it's kind of small, but here's what it looks like. Uh, you're just going to go ahead and select that brush. Um, select the brush size and whatnot. Um, you can use the bracket tools to change it without having to go back to the tool options. And then you're just going to start erasing. So uh, Before anything like that, I'm going to um, kind of select around my image, making sure I'm not cutting off anything um, in the actual effect. I'm going to select invert, and then I'm going to hit delete. And that's going to cut off the amount of white we have to erase, and it's just going to help us out a little bit. And this way we aren't cutting off any of the hard sketch effect by leaving it auto-cropped, but we aren't having to erase all the white. So um, you can also take the free select tool and cut around the effect so that it's kind of getting rid of most of the white and then you just select it like that, select invert and now all of the white is gone uh, that we don't need and all that's left is the white behind the effect. So there you go. Um, now you're just gonna go ahead and if you take this eraser tool and erase on the white you're going to see that some of the effect stays because it's the intensity on the eraser tool isn't a hundred uh, percent so basically what you're gonna be doing is erasing all of the white on the outside and whatnot and then you're gonna be erasing what you want to keep um, or you're gonna be erasing up until what you want to keep on the inside of his body so you're gonna be getting rid of most of the white here um, for the uh, inside of the body and then erasing all the white on the outside so I'm gonna go ahead and say I mean it might be a little too much white still on the inside of his body here but I'm gonna go ahead and say this is about good so you can uncheck the layer to kinda see that and then uh, the rest of it is just gonna be erasing uh, the outside white and all these extra lines jutting out from his body like that so I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. I will be right back when I do, and that's pretty much it for that effect. When I come back, I'm going to be making this into a background and showing you guys how to kind of make your own background with it. So, um, I'm going to be right back. Okay, so I've done everything. I've applied the effects that, uh, that I told you to apply. I went back and I duplicated the layer and reapplied the effects again, and then I erased. So it started to look a lot more sketched. You can do the same thing, or you can leave it. It's all up to you. It's personal preference. So um, now that we've done that, I've got this layer and the background layer, like I said. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to show you how to make this into a background. So what I'm going to do for my background is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to change the text to white here, and then I'm going to type my name. So uh, here's my YouTube name, you guys should know it, and then we're going to go ahead and go to Layer, uh, Auto Crop Layer, use the Align tool to center this piece of text exactly, and then we're going to duplicate it. Oops, let's delete that. We're going to go to Layer, Layer to Image Size, and then we're going to duplicate it. Go to Filters, uh, Gimmick, and then Hard Sketch. We're going to set it on black on transparent white. And then rather than the amplitude being 300, we're going to set it to about 100. And then click OK. And then we're going to get this effect, which already looks so cool. Uh, but then we're going to go with the eraser tool. We'll make it quite large, just big enough to fit over the largest letter. And then we're going to swipe across it a couple times, if not just once, but I think twice looks pretty good. There you go. And then what you can do is you can turn this off and see if it's, you know, good enough. That looks pretty good. It looks about the same opacity as the rest of the picture there, not too dark. So what we're going to do now is we're going to right-click out to selection the te text. We're going to click on the soldier layer, and we're going to click delete. It's like none, and now you see if we turn off this text, my name is written through the soldier with the background showing through as the letters rather than white. 
So that looks really cool. I'm going to go ahead and delete the text layer now. I'm going to merge down on top of the soldier layer, and that's pretty much it for the title. Uh, for the background, I don't want just paper as my background, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open as layers. I'm going to find a nifty background that would fit this uh, this scene here. So stuff, I'm going to go uh, pictures, backgrounds, and I'm going to find this Battlefield 4 background here with these tanks and it's raining everything. looks pretty cool. And, oops, I'm going to move this up and I'm going to keep this right here. I'm going to layer, scale layer. It's going to have to be the same size, so let's uh, change it to... 853 by 480 scale and it doesn't matter if it's disorder or anything because we're, we're going to be doing the same thing that we did with um, this layer and we're going to be applying it to the background layer so I'm going to go ahead and do that because you guys know how to do this effect now uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that effect to this background layer and I will be right back okay so this is uh, what I've done I've done the sketched out effect looks pretty cool uh, basically, all I'm going to do after that is I'm going to set it on overlay over the paper, and as you see, the image still shows up through the background um, of the paper, and then we can just turn on this layer, and as you see, we've got a Battlefield-themed background kind of sketched in uh, very lightly on the paper in the background, and then our soldier standing here. So that all looks very good. Let's go ahead and merge down. Since the bottom layer was on normal mode, we can merge you know, another... Uh, a different layer mode on top of normal. Just we can't merge two different layer modes. Um, for that, we're pretty much good there. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and merge this down as well. Let's create another layer. Um, for this, we're going to select one of our favorite colors. One of my favorite colors, I guess, uh, is this blue. And I'm going to go ahead and go up here to select. And I'm going to go rounded rectangle. And I'm just going to keep the radius at 50. That's fine with me. And then I'm going to go ahead and select shrink by about 10 pixels. And that's going to create this uh, border here. And then the inside is what is selected. So we're going to have to invert it. So we're selecting this border. Let's go ahead and paste it out. Select none. And then now we can go ahead and go to filters. Uh, blur. Gaussian blur. And I'm going to go ahead and blur it by 500. Seems a little too much. Let's go about 400. Yeah, see, that still seems... Uh, let's go 250. Let's go half of 500. 250. Click OK. And then we're going to go ahead and set the layer, the layer opacity down to about 50. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So uh, let's go ahead and make one more new layer. We're going to drag it under the uh, layer that we just did. Um, there's something for this. I forget what it's called. But um, we're going to paste, uh, or paste, but we're going to fill this uh, layer with black, and then we're going to set it to screen, so that we can see through it and whatnot. Uh, then we're going to go to filters, uh, what is it, light and shadow, lens flare, and then we're going to set the lens flare to be up in this top right corner here, and click OK, it's going to apply the lens flare. <laughs> and then um, the lens flare is right here, you can hardly see it, so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. And then we start to see it. That looks okay. Let's duplicate it one more time so it's clearly visible. There we go. And since these are all on screen, nope, we can't do that. Um, let's just image merge visible layers because we're done at this point. So image merge visible layers, clip to image size, and there you go. There's your background. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment telling me what you liked. If you didn't like the video, be sure to leave a comment telling me what you didn't like. Um, hopefully you enjoyed and you will consider subscribing because I will be making more videos like this one. And hopefully I will see you guys next.